Welcome to Grace Space Junior. I am so excited to spend today with you. Now, my friends, we are starting a new series. We're talking about something new this month. We are road tripping. Have you ever been on a road trip before? Maybe, hmm, where have you been? Yell it out. Tell me where you've been. Maybe you've been to the mountains. Maybe you've been to a lake. Maybe you've gone to see a friend. Maybe you've just went for a road trip just for fun with your family. I love road trips. I love driving. I love going all over the place. Now with me, I have a globe. Every Sunday, we're going to spin our globe and see where we're going to road trip. You ready? Okay. Ooh, where are we going to road trip? China. How would you road trip to China? Would you take a bus? Would you take a boat? How about a plane? That's right. You can take a trip to China by taking a plane. So exciting. Now, I got really excited this morning because I was like, we are going on a road trip. So I packed my bag. Do you want to see what I have in my bag? Are you ready? I have a water bottle because you never know when you're going to get thirsty, right? I get thirsty so much. Okay, what else do I have? Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. I have slippers because I love to get comfy, especially in the car because you're there for so long, right? So it's good to get comfy. Okay, okay, what else did I have? <gasps> You never know when you're gonna go see a sports game. And uh, I think it's pretty fun. I think it's pretty great. Now, our road trip this month is all about learning about the 10 commandments. Can you give me 10? 10 figures? We're talking about the 10 commandments. And it is in the Bible. If you have a Bible or your parents have a Bible, it's Exodus 21 to six. And we're talking about today that we obey God by putting him first. Can you give me a big number one? Awesome. Now we have a friend who's going to be road tripping all over and we get to follow along with her and you get to meet her today. Now, before you meet her, I wanna talk about our memory verse. Can you point to your brain? Can you point to our heart? Because when we memorize scripture, it goes into our heart because we're memorizing the Lord's words. Okay, so our memory verse, can, can you guess where it's from? I'll give you 10 seconds to guess. It is from Luke 10. We talked about the number 10 a little while ago. Luke 10, 27. Okay, I'll read it out and then we'll do it together. Sound good? You must love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul, with all your strength and all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Can we say it together? You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. All right, friends, we're gonna go check out our friend's road trip, and then I'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye. What? I'm going on a road trip, but I have no idea what to pack. So guess what? I'm going to pack everything in my room. I forgot my journal. Oh, and my crayons. Do you think I'm packing too much? I don't. You know who else would know what to pack? My friend Allie. Hey, Kels. Hey, Allie. What you up to? Well, I'm getting ready to go out with my parents. How about you? Me too. I'm going on a road trip with my family and I have zero idea what to pack. I know, right? Okay, do you have your suitcase? My suitcase? Um, yeah, sure. Actually, I have my clothes, my gummy bears, my fruit snacks, my journal, and my stuffed animals, but I don't have my suitcase. Well, you kind of need that. What helps me when I get ready to go out on a trip is I make a list, and what's most important, I put at the very, very top. That makes so much sense. What's important should be on the top. That reminds me of a Bible story I heard at church. It's time for our Bible story. Long ago, God's people, known as the Israelites, used to live in a place called Egypt, but they were treated very poorly there. So God sent Moses to rescue the Israelites. Once they finally escaped, they had to travel for a very, 
very long time to a new land God promised them. Oh, like a road trip? <laughs> yes, in a way. One time during their journey, God met with Moses at the very top of a mountain called Mount Sinai. Wow. There God told Moses about how God's people should live. Like rules? Yep, rules to help them live right. The first rule or commandment God gave Moses was to not have other gods before the one true God. What does that mean? It means that God comes first. God should be the most important part of your life. That's true. The second commandment God gave was to not worship idols. What is an idol? An idol is anything you pay more attention to than you do to God. Like a toy? Yeah, can be a toy too. Why did God make this rule? You see, sometimes people forgot about God because they couldn't see God. God wanted the people to remember who had rescued them from Egypt and who was with them every day taking care of them. That's fabulous. It's so important for us to put what's important as first. I can put God first by praying to God when I wake up every day or by thanking God first when something good happens. I know it would make God super happy when I do these things. Exactly. We obey God by putting God first. So, did you get your suitcase yet? I sure do. I realized I had everything else but the most important part. Great, so now you have a place to put all your snacks, all your clothes, and your toys. For sure. I knew you would be the best person to call and ask. By the way, where are you going? I'm going to Niagara Falls. Whoa! I always wanted to go there. Bye, Callie. Friends, on this road trip, guess who's coming with me? Guess. You! I'm taking my crazy, fun, amazing friends on my road trip with me. Catch you next time. I gotta pack quickly and get out of here.